All right, what's up guys? Lego here with Dad and Demos. So in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is installing a full rear fender on my 2016 Dyna Lowrider S, but it's made of carbon fiber. Now, this isn't gonna be a how-to video, and that is because we already have a how-to video right there. Check it out uh, if you need to know how to install a full rear fender on a 2006 and up Dyna. All right, it's not just Lowrider S specific. Um, what we used, what I used during this install was a harness from Gorilla Cables. So this is good for any 06 and up Dyna if you're doing a full rear, full rear fender swap. Make sure you hit up Gorilla Cables, all right? And that goes for any harness you need. Make sure you hit those guys up because they got it, all right? Uh, next thing I used was a V2 uh, low profile ta tail light from Moons MC. Uh, they also make great products, so if you need any LED lighting for your Harley, make sure you hit those guys up. And the last thing is the full rear fender, the full rear fender uh, from Carbon Hub Como. Those guys are out of Como, Italy. So if you need any carbon fiber products, make sure you hit those guys up. All right? They uh, responded quickly, and they're all the way in Italy, but. They got me my full rear fender uh, fast and at a decent price to so make sure you hit those guys up. I highly recommend them. I just wanna, first off, I just wanna apologize for uh, some of the filming in this because I tried to do a lot of it by myself. So it was pretty difficult and it probably got 100 degrees uh, some of the days in my garage. So I apologize for that. Hopefully you enjoy and uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. All right guys, so this is the full fender. Um, this is carbon fiber. It came from Carbon Hub Como, and I think the uh, Como, I think that is Como Italy. So check it out right here. Shout out to these dudes. This is a sticker they sent me. They also sent me a hat. Um, I'll put it at the end of the video or I'll just put it somewhere so you guys can see it. But Carbon Hub Como, uh, I think it's Como Italy. That's where it shipped from. Uh, pretty cool dudes. So let's just check out the fender real quick. So it didn't come with this. I'll explain this in a second, but if you just look, pretty sweet, right? Carbon fiber came with the two holes for the harness. Um, it also came with the strut holes. So this is actually for mounting the, uh, the fender on there. It's a full fender, right? It's not a bobbed fender. A lot of people just go with the regular fenders. I wanted to go with the carbon fiber one. I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. Uh, it didn't come with the seat the seat bolt hole, and it also didn't come with the license plate holes, or like I said, it didn't come with the uh, tail light holes. So I'm gonna show you the inside of it. You know, I'm no carbon fiber expert, so I can't tell you if this is like really good quality or not, but uh, it seems pretty strong to me. Hopefully this video isn't like really shaky. So hopefully you guys can see that. Like I said, I don't know if this is like the best quality or not, but it seems pretty strong to me. So if you are uh, if you know a lot about carbon fiber, let me know if that looks like good quality or not. All right, so that's the full fender. Um, now I'm gonna show you what a regular fender looks like. All right, so check it out. This right here is a OEM uh, Harley Davidson full fender. This is the one that we installed. I'll put a, a link on the video. So if you check it out right there, um, that's a video to the install, but this right here is a base plate and then a circuit board. So this is what you need if you're going to install a uh, tail light, right? Everybody likes the freaking integrated tail light. So what this does is if you look at the back of it right there, um, it's got the protruding part and then it's got this little bracket. So this little bracket mounts right there, but you're going to see on my fender that it doesn't have it. So I'm going to show you what I did in order to get it to work. But like I said, it's, it would just mount right there like that. And then you would have the tail light go over it and that's how it would mount. But I'm gonna show you what I did on mine in order to make it work. This hole didn't come like this. What I had to do was um, I, measured, I measured my buddy's uh, fender from the bottom to the uh, bottom of the hole and uh, I got that measurement. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head now. Um, so I measured it there. 
I measured the width, I measured the height, and then all I did was I marked it and then I used a Dremel to uh, cut it out. So uh, I didn't take a video of that just because, you know, it, it was really hot in here and I just didn't want to. So all I did was Dremel it. I didn't worry about it being perfect because this uh, bracket, it overlaps. So you're not gonna end up seeing the uh, not perfect edges. So I wasn't too worried about that. Um, but here's the piece right here that I cut out of it. So you can see, I actually cut it myself. Now, I don't know if you can get, if Carbon Hub Como will uh, cut it out for me, but you know, those guys were pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I hit them up probably two weeks later. They expedited the shipping from Italy to me. So I thought that was like, that was like really dope that they did that. Um, but what I had to do, because if you look right here, it doesn't have that bracket like, uh, the OEM fender has so what I did was I made a little bracket and I'll show you how it's gonna mount in there finished making a hole so obviously it's gonna go from uh, the bottom to the top but um, I just checked it like this made sure it fit um, so it's gonna work and then all you do is snap ring it on and then it won't come off and so yeah it's good all right guys so I know you're like this video keeps jumping around I'm in my truck Today, I'm about to go and pick up my fender. Um, I took it to a local body shop to get it clear coated. I know I probably could have did it myself, but I was just like, I don't even want to mess with it because I don't know a lot about painting or anything like that. And I just wanted it to come out good. So I'm gonna go pick it up now and check it out. So check it out. This is after it got clear coated from a uh, local body shop. And the only reason I'm wearing gloves, I promise you, is because this just got clear coated, so I don't want to get it dirty. Um, this thing looks beautiful. I just look at that shine. Uh, you know, I put a voting thing out on Instagram, and I said, <laughs> I said matter, matter gloss. What do you guys think? A lot of people voted gloss, and I went with it. Um, and I do not regret it. It looks really good. So. The reason I took it to a local body shop instead of doing it myself is I, I just don't know a lot about painting, you know, and um, I just didn't even want to mess with it. I just wanted to be able to take it somewhere, get have a professional do it, and it just get done right. And I'm glad that I did because I was talking to the guy that painted this and or the guy that clear coated this, and he said he had to put about 12 co coats of a uh, sealer on it, or he had to put about 12 coats of a uh, gloss on it. So. I'm really happy that I just took it somewhere and did it so I didn't have to mess with it myself. So now what you're going to see me do is put everything on it and then uh, get it installed. All right. So I just ran outside because my dog screamed bloody murder. Um, I jumped into dog dad mode and he was completely fine. I don't know what happened. He was playing out there with my other dog. I am going to be using the Moons MC taillight along with their base plate that comes with the with a circuit board. So it's a really easy installation. So uh, like I said before, I'm just gonna put all this stuff on um, what, if you need to know how, this, how to do this for the first time, make sure you go and watch our how to uh, install a Dyna 
uh, 06 and up full rear fender, which I will put there and also link in the description. So make sure you watch that, but here we go. So right here, I have a little bracket that I made that I explained earlier in the video, but if you couldn't see it, this is that bracket again. It's just a little piece of aluminum and all is it, all it's gonna do is it's gonna mount to the back of the fender. Um, hopefully you can see this. So right here, the uh, bottom of the fender is already clipped in and the top will, uh, this bracket will just lock it in place and it's not gonna go anywhere. And then I can install a tail light, all right? Pretty happy with that. So the base plate, or the this is the base plate. Um, it's pretty flush on there, so I'm pretty happy with that. And the uh, circuit board can only go on one way, so uh, hopefully you don't find a way to mess that up. <laughs> but on the inside, like I said before, uh, the bottom's clipped in, and then the top is just being held on with that bracket, and that thing is not gonna go anywhere, so I'm not worried about it at all. So I'm gonna continue installing. So next thing I'm gonna install is the harness by Gorilla Cables. And I cannot shout these guys out enough. They make an awesome product. Um, this is just stuck on the backside with 3M sticky tape and it will hold strong. I have already put this on uh, a full fender and it's still hanging on strong and we've had absolutely no issues. So um, the smaller end, the smaller end connector is gonna go towards the tail light and then the bigger end connector is gonna go towards the front of the bike, all right? And I'll show you guys how I do this. So the first thing that I do is I take the small connector, I put it through and I connect the connector into the circuit board. So if you check it out, the connector is connected to the circuit board and then all I do is I push the slack out, make sure you got a good connection, right? So it's connected, you'll hear the little click uh, when it's connected, and then, and then on the inside, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to route the big connector through the hole that is already on the fender. I'm gonna put it through and the only thing you have left to do is peel the piece off the back of the 3M sticky tape, stick it inside the fender, and stick it down. All right, guys, and like I said before, make sure it's pressed down firmly, and that's it. So what I have is the connector uh, going through the front side. This is gonna connect to the harness on your actual bike. And then on the back side, I have the circuit board and I have the other end of the harness gorilla cable provides connected to the circuit board. Next step is gonna be installing the Moons MC uh, V2 low profile tail light and it's smoked. Um, they make it super easy to install this. It's completely plug and play. And yeah, I don't, I don't think you can mess this up. So uh, green is going to be the all right, uh, green is going to be the right tail light, so you plug it in that way, and the brown is gonna be the left tail light, and you plug it on the left side, and then the last one is gonna be uh, for your brake light and your running tail light. And you can't mess it up because it only goes on one way. Next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna try to hide the wires, and you are going to tighten it down with screws. Uh, if you're gonna do a full rear fender swap, you're not gonna have the hardware required to uh, install the tail light onto the base plate. So what I had to do was I went to Lowe's, I picked up some normal size screws. Um, not sure what size these are, I just had them laying around in my garage, but you can pick them up from Lowe's. And this is, you need this in order to get the tail light mounted to the base plate. So that's something to think about if you're gonna do a full roof. Hopefully you can see this. It made a perfect seal around it and I'm happy with that. And I'm not gonna tighten down. Uh, I'm not gonna tighten it down anymore cause I don't wanna crack it. So there we go, tail light installed.
and check it out. So that's really common uh, when you get something clear coated or power coated um, that the holes may no longer be the same size because a uh, little bit of paint's inside of them. So all you need to do is drill it out a little bit and then you'll be good to go. So now I'm just gonna install the hardware. Um, not using Loctite because on the back side we have self-locking nuts. There it is. Um, I think it looks pretty good. You know, it may not be exactly perfect. Uh, I may need to tilt it a little bit, but I eyeballed this, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, pro tip, let's say this doesn't line up perfect. One thing you can do is on the actual fender is elongate the holes or make them a little bit bigger. Uh, add bigger washers to the bolts when you tighten them down and you sh should give you enough room in order to move it around. I'm not really worried about it, you know, um, but that's a pro tip for you. Next thing I'm gonna install is the um, receptacle for the seat screw. And right here, what I have is, this is a C-clip or an E-clip. I picked it up at the local hardware store. It's 3 8 um, What I found was the original one that came with the bike was made of plastic and because the carbon fender is a lot more thick than the uh, stock fender. Uh, when I went to put on the E-clip, there wasn't enough space uh, because the fender was taken up so much. So this one's skinnier, but it's made of metal. Um, so I decided to go with that. So uh, if you want to see how to install it, just watch our other video. Uh, I'm going to get this installed. So as you can see, I'm almost done. Um, it's pretty difficult getting this on here. Uh, just be really careful when you're putting a fender on because you don't want the struts uh, to scratch up the fender you just bought. So uh, recap, uh, installed the base plate, installed the Gorilla Cables harness, um, installed the Moons MC tail light, uh, the license plate bracket, and the receptacle for the uh, seat. Drilled all that stuff myself. Um, seems like I did a pretty good job, you know, it all fits. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the harness. I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna put on the seat, wipe it down, and then take a few pics and then talk to you guys. Uh, one of the awesome things about this harness from Gorilla Cables is you can get rid of this entire mess and this has already been messed with on my bike. Uh, my bike didn't even come with the uh, light for the license plate. Um, it was already taken off. So get rid of this entire mess of freaking harness, right? And then that harness that's provided by Gorilla Cables, direct plug and play into the stock harness on the bike. Boom, fits perfect, tuck it away. Um, now, I'm going to show you guys what the tail light looks like. We're going to slap on the seat, and that should be it. All right guys, so I picked up some bling for my seat. Um, this is made by Saddleman, pretty dope. And I'm gonna install it, you know, just be a little little flashy, hopefully it fits. Uh, this is a Lucky Dave's diamond stitch seat. So we'll see if it fits. Remove the black one, and it seems like it's gonna be a perfect fit. Hopefully, um, it fits because when I tested it out on the motorcycle, I used the Lucky Dave's one, so we'll see if this fits. And check it out, I got one more thing from Saddleman. Check out this awesome uh, 
this will protect my uh, fender from uh, getting messed up. So shout out to Saddleman for making some, some awesome products. All right guys, so I just cleaned up uh, my fender. I had handprints all over it. I just cleaned it up with some uh, gloss sauce and this is from Desert Detail. Uh, I got it from my boy, uh, Lifted, Air, Lifted Laramie AZ. Uh, make sure you check this stuff out. Um, worked pretty good. All right guys, so as you can see, full fender's installed. Um, check out the pictures on Instagram. You know, um, we're trying to grow our Instagram all the time. So uh, if you're not following us on Instagram, make sure you check it out. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Um, quick shout out to Gorilla Cables for providing the harness. None of this would be possible unless they provided uh, their awesome harness. Um, those guys are awesome. So if you need anything, make sure you hit them up. Uh, anything wiring related. Uh, next, Moons MC, they provided the uh, tail light. So if you need any LED things for uh, your motorcycle, make sure you hit up those dudes. Uh, they offer our, they also offer more products, so um, make sure you check them out. Uh, the next goes to the star of this video, Carbon Hub Como. Uh, none of this would be possible unless they provided the uh, fender for me, so a uh, huge shout out to those dudes. All right, um, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, like I said, I'm pretty hot and sweaty. Now I'm gonna go take this thing for a rip. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.